1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Salman Tahir. First, the headlines. Prime Minister has invited Qatari businessmen for investment in key sectors of Pakistan's economy. Acting President and Prime Minister have expressed grief and sorrow over martyrdom of seven people in bomb blast in Mastung today. 78th Liberation Day of Gilgit Baltistan is being celebrated today. 140 people have been martyred in unabated Israeli airstrikes in Gaza and Lebanon during the last 24 hours. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif has invited Qatari businessmen for investment in key sectors of Pakistan's economy. He extended the invitation during a meeting with the delegation of the Qatar Businessmen Association, which called on him in Doha. The Prime Minister discussed deepening economic ties and exploring new avenues for collaboration. He highlighted the numerous opportunities in sectors such as energy, infrastructure, finance, presenting Pakistan as an attractive investment destination. During the meeting, both sides explored potential collaborations that could drive job creation, innovation and sustainable development in both countries. Members of the Qatar Businessmen Association responded positively to the Prime Minister's invitation, indicating their interest in expanding their investments into Pakistan's energy and infrastructure sectors. Minister for Information and Broadcasting, Ataullah Tarar, had participated in the Faraj Al Fun Festival in Doha on special invitation of Qatar's Minister of Culture, Abdul Rahman bin Hamad Athani. He congratulated the Qatar's Ministry of Culture and Culture Minister for making the best arrangements for the festival. Ataullah Tarar also held meeting with Minister of Culture of Tajikistan, Matluba Khun Satoroyen, and Minister of Culture of Iraq, Dr. Ahmad Al Fakak Al Badrani on the sidelines of the festival. Speaking on the occasion, the Information Minister said the dedication to preserve and promote Qatar's cultural heritage is an honor, and events like Faraj Al Fun reflects the importance of cultural heritage. Earlier in Mastung, seven people, including a policeman and five children, have been martyred, while 22 others injured in a blast near a school this morning. The injured people have been shifted to civil hospital Quetta. Acting President Sayyid Yusuf Raza Gilani and Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif have strongly condemned bomb blast at a girls' high school in Mastung district of Balochistan. In their separate statements, they expressed deep grief over the death of children and a policeman in the incident. The acting president in his statement reiterated the resolve to eliminate terrorism from the country. Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif, in a statement, expressed the determination to continue war till complete elimination of the scourge of terrorism from the country. He said the attack on a school exposes terrorist animosity towards education in Balochistan. The Prime Minister directed the authorities concerned to apprehend the perpetrators of the blast and award them exemplary punishment. He also instructed to provide best medical treatment facilities to the injured. The 78th Liberation Day of Gilgit Baltistan is being celebrated today. Flag hoisting ceremonies held in all districts, including Gilgit and Skardu. The main ceremony was held at Chenar Bagh Gilgit, where Chief Minister Gilgit Baltistan Gulbar Khan hoisted the national flag. A colorful ceremony was also held in Gilgit under the auspices of Pakistan Army to mark the day. Tribute was paid to the martyrs and Ghazis of liberation struggle of the Gilgit Baltistan. Israeli forces martyred 95 Palestinians in their unabated airstrikes across besieged Gaza during the last 24 hours. 46 Palestinians were martyred in the north where one attack 
hit at hospital, torching medical supplies and disrupting operations. An Israeli airstrike on two houses in the Nusirat camp in central Gaza martyred 16 Palestinians. The health ministry in Gaza Strip has appealed all international bodies to protect hospitals and medical staff from Israeli brutalities. In Lebanon, 45 more people were also martyred in Israeli attacks during the last 24 hours. According to the Lebanese Health Ministry, at least 2,865 people have so far been martyred in Israeli attacks. Khilta Punjab Games 2024 under the Chief Minister Punjab Mariam Nawaz Sharif's Khilta Punjab initiative will begin across the province tomorrow. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch our live video streaming on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.